Oh my god! <laughs> you guys are going crazy already! I'm barely together. Well, hello everybody! Alright, let me catch up real fast. Oh my goodness, Purpley's in here! We got Fexy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, Mama Zug Zug. Charlie's in here. Hello, Charlie. Oh gosh, who else have I missed? Childish Coltino. Oh my gosh, Childish Coltino's been going crazy lately. Oops. Kenza Cat's in here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dakota. Hello, Dakota. Hello, Kiwi. Hello, Opal. All the way. Wow. People from everywhere. Hello. I can't keep up. You guys are going crazy. Go crazy. Kiwi. Oh, you just made an omelet? That's awesome. I haven't even gotten the food items out yet. Like, I'm running behind today. But that should be fine. We'll make it work. Fortunately, this stuff is super easy. So, no big deal. We're just going to zhuzh it up a little bit. I'm sorry if I missed anyone. Please let me know. I think I got them. Oh, Saints! I missed Saints! No, I can't miss that! I know Stella's live right now. Like, so many people are live. So, hello! Welcome back to Lazy Cooking! Uh, today we're doing frittatas. If you don't know what a frittata is, it's like a crustless quiche. If you don't know what a quiche is, it's basically a frittata with crust. Anyway, I'm kidding. So if you don't know, it's basically like an omelet, but you bake it. So it's super easy. You just mix up some eggs, whatever you like in your eggs, throw it in the oven and you're good. Right? Lazy cooking for the win. So there's not really a whole lot you need for this. We're going to do a couple different ones. Um, if you're in the States, I'm not sure if overseas Starbucks has the little like egg bite things. So I figure we start with that. They're really nice to keep in the fridge. I'll eat them cold. Otherwise, you can heat them up real fast in a frying pan, a microwave. Probably wouldn't put it in a toaster because there's cheese. But I figure start with those. Pretty easy peasy. And then we'll do like the actual family size pie dish. You don't need much. Um, these call for a muffin tin. Personal size cast iron. Yes. Yep, if you have cast irons, that's always great because then you can whip it up on the stove and put it right into the oven. Um, it doesn't have to be cast iron. There are pans now that allow for... I never plugged my laptop in. That could have been a problem. There we go. <laughs> Let's not crash the stream today. Um, yeah, I do love a good cast iron skillet. So if you have one, I recommend that. You don't, that's fine. We're not using one today. So, welcome. Thank you for hanging out. Wow, this is absolutely crazy. I thought I'd have a few more minutes while people just kind of trickled in here. So we'll, we'll just get right to it. Welcome to my kitchen. This is a different camera I've been, than what I've been using, but I think it's gonna give a slightly better view. Let me know. Rockilla, hello! Fire. Right, Kyer? I'm screwing up names left and right. You guys are going crazy. Do I have any mods in yet? I do not. Well. I do now. Dakota, you just got upgraded. Do my shout outs, please. <laughs> Whether you want to or not. No, I'm kidding. You don't want to, that's fine. I will try and get to it. Um, so I just found a couple recipes online that I wanted to try. 
It's pretty basic. Uh, so we'll start with this copycat one. I don't know, just people as they come in. Whoever you want. You're a mod now. <laughs> do what you want your mods to do. I'll make you work for it. No, I'm kidding. Like I said, if you don't want to, it's not a big deal. So these, the nice thing with these, it's really, really fast prep time. Like they're saying five minutes and then the cook is 30 minutes. So it gives you something you can do. If you have kids, they can help out. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. This one for Starbucks calls for cottage cheese, which is a little weird, but I figured let's try it. Um, you can also use like sour cream, half and half milk. So we'll try a few different things and see what we like. First, you need eggs. Ooh. Then you need cheese. I grabbed Swiss and Gruyere. Otherwise, Swiss works well. I know Starbucks does the Gruyere, so I figure we'll try it. Um. Need your dairy. More eggs. Why, hello. Thank you so much for the follow, Land Shark. Thank you. I thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Then you'll need meat, a couple different options, and veggies. So you could just do this with eggs and cheese and call it peachy. You don't have to go all out. I'm doing a little bit more because I can, because I want to, and I want to show you different ideas. <laughs> Thank you, Fexy, for the follow. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Some quality Dutch teas. Yes, please, Opal, do so. My brother actually spent a few years in the Netherlands and talked about the food. Um, I personally will not try your pickled herring. No offense. It's not my thing. Um, oh, well, that's good. Yeah, the sour cream makes the frittata rise more, so that's good to know. I just kind of wanted to play around a little bit. <laughs> Hopefully it's amazing. I've had a couple fails. I actually... I've done the little egg bites before. I haven't done the full pie size one. So this will be my first time making like the full size and seeing how that goes. It should cook evenly. I mean, I've got a convection oven. Speaking of, should probably start that warming up, which calls for 350. We'll get that going. Shouldn't take too long. Then grab a bowl. Measuring cups. So for these, it only calls for five eggs. Make sure I'm not missing anything in chat. Absolute shame. Aww. He thought it was falling. It's okay. I do that too, where like, I swear I followed someone because I've talked with them multiple times, I've tuned in and just somehow like missed it. If you're not comfortable cracking eggs, don't do it over the bowl. Because you don't want to get shells in there. Like trying to get shells out. I'm doing a terrible time of cracking eggs right now. So I should probably stop. But yeah, trying to get the shells out once. Ooh, speaking of. It is kind of a pain. Me, speaking of. Don't want to eat that. I mean, it's not bad for you. It's just... My grandma was not careful about it, so I'm a little um, gun shy about there being shells in my food. <laughs> Just saying. But Fexy, like I said, I completely understand. I do that. Um, 
So if you've been here before, I have two towels, just one's my dirty hands towel and one's my clean hands towel. I just don't like the feeling of the egg on my hands, so I'm getting rid of that. But I don't need to wash my hands because I'm not really handling anything here. It's just that little bit of egg from fishing off the shelves. Make sure I've got my recipe. So then I thought I'd grab my whisk. So you just want to combine the eggs, so just mix the yolks in with the whites if you are on a diet and you just want the egg whites then separate the egg whites from the yolks i'm sure at some time you can use a piece of shell to scoop out other shell fragments that is correct because like will go to like i think that's the first time i've ever had a piece of shell in years just goes to show live is a different different thing altogether than when you're just cooking for yourself. So then you just mix in. Gotta love the bongos. It's true. You do have to love the bongos. My phone is going to keep turning off. That's annoying. Um, so then this says add the cottage cheese. So we're trying it. I'm curious. It's one cup of cottage cheese for five eggs. So I just grabbed a 16 ounce container so I can just do half. Because I didn't feel like measuring or doing anything extra special. So I'll just right in half. Bloop. I'm a little concerned about like the texture. I've never done this with cottage cheese before. So I'm curious how that's going to turn out. But I figured, hey, why not? Why not? Everyone get out the bongos. Yeah. Where is my music? Oh, now it's super loud. Jeez. No. There we go. Okay, let me balance that a little bit. I would think it would smooth out. I don't know. Like I said, I just figure I'd give it a try because I have never done it before. And I thought it sounded interesting. Um, it does say to use full fat, especially if you're doing a keto diet because you need that extra fat in there. I think the cheese is not until the end. Nope, add the cheese now. So one cup of Swiss cheese shredded. I got pre-shredded because I'm lazy, and like I said, I did a Gruyere and Swiss cheese mix. This is one and a half cups, so I just do two thirds. And the nice thing with this stuff is it's pretty much eyeballing it. Like you don't really have to go above and beyond making sure everything is perfect. There's slightly more or slightly less than one cup of shredded cheese. Oh no. <laughs> Opal, if you want to, I would love to. I need a good Dutch stroke waffle. I found Americanized versions of stroke waffles, but I want to make an actual strope. Um, I know they're a little finicky, but they're actually supposed to be pretty easy. So then salt and pepper. So this is to taste. It says about an eighth of a teaspoon. If you have fresh cracked pepper and salt. <laughs> now if you start streaming, oh, we'll do it. I would love to watch some original Dutch recipes. Learn how to make those. I prefer finely ground, especially for baking. 
Dakota, I just appreciate you being here. I, I really do. I'm glad I got to hang out. Did you post any of the clips I made, Dakota? So, some people talked me into TikTok. I'm trying. We're learning. Teaching this old dog new tricks. So I made a bunch of clips from Dakota's stream last night to see how they translated on TikTok. But I haven't had a chance to see them yet. So then you just whisk, whisk all this together. And if you aren't talking and like being distracted, you'd be much further along than I am. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, you just kind of want it like mostly incorporated. My oven is fully heated. So I also want to add some bacon to this. This one I think said to top it with bacon bits. Um, let me double check. Okay, yeah, you top it once you put them in. So this calls for one muffin tin generously sprayed mine are already non-stick but i'm spraying anyway just because it's a pain and then you divvy out the five eggs plus all this stuff evenly if it was not live i probably would just pour it in but we'll try and pretend to be a little nice here a little fancy and use a spoon that I now have to wash. That's how lazy I am. I don't even want to wash a spoon if I don't have to. So these are going to be pretty full, which is why they cook for 30 minutes. Just trying to make sure they're as even as possible so they cook evenly. But yeah, there's no added butter, no added oils, nothing like that. So these are actually pretty friendly recipes um, for diets because then you can add whatever veggies and whatever meats you're okay with. Bacon bits, yeah. So this one does call for fresh cooked bacon. We're being lazy because bacon is also kind of hard to find right now. And we're just using bacon bits, store bought. And I have a cat here begging, so I'm trying to not get any on the floor. Ooh. I thought I was gonna mix the bacon in. We're just gonna put a generous on. I did wash my hands before all this. That's what I do. So there's the first one that goes in the oven for 30 minutes. Done. Easy. Yeah, this is so great for leftovers. Like, use whatever. So now we followed the recipe. Now we're not going to follow the recipe and we're going to see what happens. Um, so we're still going to do Swiss and Gruyere. I think with this one, yeah, we'll stick with the bacon bits. Um, we'll wait and do the sausage with the pies. But I want to add some veggies. Like, I feel like it needs veggies. So we're going to try it and see what happens. So I'm going to wash my hands because I know I'm going to handle the veggies too. And again, like it's super unnecessary. I'm just sharing BZ in the house. Hello, BZ. I'm sharing the food with my family, which is in a separate household. So I like to make sure that I'm washing my hands as often as possible. Straight Edge, thank you for the host. Do. Do. 
awesome thank you so much bz thanks for hanging out straight edge thank you for the house we're making frittatas i just got the first set in the oven like i said super easy peasy um i know with covid like the food's cooked it's gonna be fine I just have gotten in the habit of like washing up and cleaning up between meal prep. I don't know, I guess that's the best way to put it. But it does make life much easier. And since we're not changing what's going in here, I'm just gonna use the same bowl because it's still eggs, cheese. Um, I didn't mix the meat in. I will wash it between meat just because I don't want to risk transferring anything, even though I know it won't. Oh. It's better to be safe than sorry. Straight Edge had a birthday stream right lately. That was two, two days ago? Yes, I don't know. My sense of time is all messed up. So happy belated birthday, Straight Edge. Your stream was awesome. I appreciate you. All right, so the last one was just cheese and then bacon on top. So this one we're gonna do onion and bacon in it. And I might add a couple other spices. I don't know, we'll see what looks good. Again, you just kind of whisk this up. If you don't have a whisk, just use a fork or a spoon. Like, these things are so easy and friendly, like college, when you're away and you don't have much to go with. Use your bowl, mix up some eggs. You can either throw it in a pan or if you have a little toaster oven or what do you have? Like, it's so easy to make yourself a little omelet or frittata. And if you learn to make a really good one, which is why we're trying a few different recipes, it's an easy date meal. Be like, oh yeah, come over, I'll make you a frittata. And you put it in the oven, you're like, oh gosh, what will we do for 30 minutes? I don't know. Calls Peter, managed to jump a skipping rope over Just say it. Just say it. The Nelly frittata? No. So again, this recipe, the Starbucks copycat, yeah, this past like year is Groundhog's Day. Like, I don't know, is it 2019, 2025, 2020? Like, I don't even know. I feel like this year is just 2020 plus so far. We're in game mode plus right now. Um, but yeah, we'll see about this texture. I'm not so sure about the cottage cheese, but that's what it calls for. We'll try it. I also have cream cheese or sour cream that we can play with. But for five eggs, it's one cup cream cheese, one cup of Swiss cheese shredded. <laughs> yeah, 2020 New Game Plus, right? And then, so that was only half a cup. We'll do some more cheese. I feel like I didn't put enough cheese in the last one. This looks like more cheese, but that's okay. Uh, we'll do some bacon bits. We'll mix that in. More bacon, right? More bacon. Salt and pepper to taste. Like I said, this one calls for an eighth of a teaspoon, so really not much for the amount of egg you're using. Fresh ground pepper. And then I want some onion.
a little more. Can you tell I like onion, but I just have a container of chopped onion at all times? And then, I don't know, what do I think sounds good? Maybe I'll put some paprika in. Hello, Calamity. <laughs> it works in Jared's diet. I know. Oh my gosh, Jared. His diet is crazy. I definitely want garlic. I was going to chop some fresh garlic, but we're just going to do some garlic powder. Um, yeah, I want some thyme. Let's try some thyme in this one. So again, this I'm just winging. I had the basic recipe. We've just added to it to see kind of what happens. If it turns out, if I like it. Now it's kind of a gloopy mess. So this is where a fork might be easier. But again, you just kind of want to mix it all, incorporate it. I might have a little too much for a single pan, so I'm going to grab an extra. There we go. That's looking better. And then as these spices cook, they're going to come out more. I mostly smell the cheese, but I think that's okay. Because I'm going to add some heat on top with some cayenne pepper. All right, so again, grease your pan. Even if it says nonstick, just do it. It's not worth the frustration later. And we'll see. But yeah, if and when has quite the diet. I know the onion's gonna cook down as well, so if these are a little mounded, it should be okay. I just don't want them like super oozing over. So we'll see, I might have to even it out, do something a little creative. I think, I think it'll be fine. Again, you just kind of want them close to the same size so they cook evenly. making a mess on my cutting board. I make a mess every time I cook. I don't know about you guys. Don't worry, I'll catch up on chat. There. That looks good to me. So yeah, 10 minutes. It should be a five minute prep, but 10 minutes isn't bad. So we'll toss this in. I'm going to set a second timer for 30 minutes. Let me clean up. Come on, chat. You can do it. Asparagus. Yes, I'm going to put asparagus in the pies and see how that goes. Beard of Envy, hello. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you coming by. Calamity. Oof. a little bit worse yep well speaking of music speaking of music so there you can see in like what 15 minutes 20 minutes i've already got two sets done and one of those is a pretty easy meal like two eggs is pretty standard so there's 12 like we just made six meals. Done. <laughs> Hello, Steli. Thank you to the mess your hubby makes. Yeah, I've made bigger messes. Like this is pretty low key for me. Um, I'm going to rinse these off real fast so that we can get started on the next set.
Okay. Another easy keasy childish Cotino. What is that? Lurk. 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 Yep, there's also a cat just running around my kitchen. She's such a trash panda, but she's my little trash panda. All right, so for the next one, I do want to use sausage. So I just got some turkey sausage that will cook up. I'm going to get the pan started. I'm probably going to chop down some peppers for the next one. I've got the cheese. Oh, yeah. So I just got turkey sausage. Pork makes me sick, so I have to kind of try and find specialty sausage. I was hoping to do spicy sausage, but right now all I could find was pork in the spicy sausage. Wow, that didn't cut it at all. So this is going to be like the longest part of this recipe is cooking up whatever meat. Think about, I'm just going to cut it this way. The muffin pans, I know, aren't they cute? Oh gosh, what are they? I have a whole set, so it's also got like a mixing bowl and a pie tin. Wow, that looks horrible. That looks so gross, you guys. I'm sure it's great. Ooh. That doesn't even sound right. I can't even think of who my pans are by right now. It's one of those, like, the store was going to stop carrying that pattern, so they had them on sale. I think I'm going to need to add a little oil to this. It's sticking a lot to my nonstick pan. Go figure. I don't want much, because it should cook in its own fat. Temptations. That's what they are. They're temptations. They should still be around, so you should be able to still get their pans. But I do like them. They're heavy duty, so if you're like trying to keep something warm, it's going to hold the heat longer. So you kind of have to prep for that if you're cooking. Um, if you chill them, so if you're doing like a cold dish, it's going to stay chilled longer because it's stoneware. And these don't, the sausage doesn't have to be fully cooked, but if you have leftover like breakfast sausage or even dinner sausage, if you have chorizo or bacon or beef or like, like was said earlier, this is a really good, easy way to use leftovers for an individual or a family and kind of like revive them into something delicious. So if it's already cooked, that's fine because you can just add some other veggies that have liquid and that's going to make sure it doesn't get all dry. The eggs are going to also help. Mushing it around so I get some nice smaller bits. I think I'll do one with peppers and one with the asparagus. Both will have the onion. I'll probably put bacon in both too. I'm not gonna lie, I like bacon. It's worth the upset stomach for bacon. And then also, like, I'm not a huge fan of asparagus, but I really like them in this dish. I don't know, it just goes really well. All right, I think I can turn that up a bit and check, check. You need details? Uh, like I said, they're temptations. 
Yeah, bacon is pork. Like I said, it's worth the upset stomach for bacon. Because bacon's delicious. But I do, like I said, I have a whole thing. So I also have little ramekins that match. They're so cute. And temptations. Uh, oh, that was the other thing I like. They're all microwave, oven, and dishwasher safe. So I don't have to worry about any of that. Because I know sometimes if you go to put it in the microwave, they use metal in the die. So you can't do that with a lot of the bakeware. Um, if it's oven safe, then it's typically not dishwasher safe or something. You can tell how often I cook ground turkey because I forget how dry it can be or lean, I guess I should say. So I probably should add a little more oil. But it should be fine. It should be fine. This is the point where I'd probably add spices, but I'm going to add it to the eggs instead. Because I kind of want one to be more of a taco dish and one to just be kind of a standard breakfast sausage, egg, and cheese. <laughs> like I said, they're really good pans. I like them. They're not the cheapest, if I recall, but they're also not insanely expensive. I just got a really good deal. All right, so we got 10 minutes. We'll go ahead and let this start cooling and mix up our two batches. Since my base is gonna be the same, I'm gonna start them in the same dish and then add them at the end. Should probably get out the recipe just to make sure I pretend to follow it. So this one was a crustless quiche frittata. So this one calls for milk and six eggs. There goes my phone. And then cheese, salt and pepper, and then whatever additional ingredients you want. So we'll start with a dozen eggs gonna use them all. I love this pan. It has a really nice ridge on it. Makes cracking eggs open super duper easy. Whereas the glass one had a rounded edge so it wasn't quite as easy. That's okay. A <laughs> walk. I do need a wok. I don't have one. I have skillets. I have frying pans. I have pots and Dutch ovens, but I don't have a wok. Poseidon, I do see the stretch. Let me finish the eggs and then I'll stretch. Thank you for the reminder because I do need to. Oh, Texas toast is delicious. I'm a big fan. Yeah, I do a lot of pork free, so I have to try and figure out, because pork has a lot of fat in it, which is what <laughs> what makes my stomach upset. Not Haley, hello. Thank you so much for the bits. I do need a shout out for Not Haley, because I'm supposed to be starting streaming Friday, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Not Haley. I did almost buy myself an air fryer yesterday. I found one on sale for $150. And it's five and a half quarts. It looks amazing. I want it, but I don't need it. <laughs> Bees, you should. I would love to see you do that dance. All right, so let me stretch. Oh. 
Thank you, Poseidon, again. I know I haven't been great. A Dutch oven, yeah. Dutch ovens are really nice. Oh, with FedEx. I know FedEx is running behind, so I get it. That makes sense. Um, oh, my whisk. That's right. I rinsed it off. Thank you, Childish Coltino, for the bits. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Hopefully, this gives you some ideas for some quick and easy meals. Like I said, this is like the quintessential lazy dish. You just use what you have, throw it all together, call it peachy. I'm kind of following recipes, but not really. I try to, <laughs> but not really. All right, so where the last one called for the cottage cheese, this one calls for milk. So we'll go ahead and add in the milk now. So I have oat milk and I don't know if that's going to change things. So this could be an entire fail or not. We'll see. So again, for like the six eggs, you want one cup or eight ounces. I don't know what that translates to milliliters. I'm trying, you guys. I know. A little nutty, just like me. So since we did a dozen, we want two cups. And then since this is a larger pan it does cook for longer which is why you want that extra moisture 30 milliliters thank you rev see rev's got me i appreciate you you got them. um i don't want to cook the egg so i'm letting that cool down a bit i know we like the onion so we're gonna put onion in And then again, it calls for a cup of grated cheese. We doubled that, so we want two cups. And that one. And that one. I don't think this one, oh no, this does say salt and pepper to taste, so. Salt and pepper. Two taste. I told you it isn't real milk. I know. I have the sour cream out. We'll probably add a dab of that. Just because it isn't real milk. I'm supposed to also be on a diet opal. I'm just terrible about starting it. Um, we're going on five years procrastination now. But 2020 wasn't the time to start a diet. I don't know what people are thinking. And now that we're in new game plus mode, I don't know. I don't know about that. check and see because if you toss the sausage in while it's still too hot you're going to start cooking the eggs and I don't want that to happen because then you're gonna have those kind of like scrambled eggs chunks which isn't very appetizing so I just want to make sure that's cool enough So I can touch it, which means it should be fine. Well, 
like I said, I'm just going to do two full frittatas with the sausage. And I'm just going to kind of leave the base the same, but change it up a little bit of what goes in each. Two minutes, which should be just enough to get these in the paste. Because that means we still have 12 minutes on the other one. If you decide to cook it at a higher temperature, just don't cook it as long. You could also cook it low and slow. Like 350 is pretty good standard, but if you wanted to cook it longer, like say you wanted to start it early because you have an errand to run or something, I don't recommend doing that. But if that happens, just cook it lower degrees for a longer time. Again, these are nonstick, probably fine, but I'm going to spray them anyway. One. I like my silicone pans the thing is they don't hold the shape well so I always put it in a metal one just so it keeps its shape a little better and then we want to divide this half and half so we'll just pour it in to what looks about even Looks good to me. the first one. I just washed my hands and I also washed the asparagus because I don't want cross-contamination. Again, it should be fine, but better safe than sorry. So now I buried my hot mitt. Oh no! I lost my hot mitt! Well, the towel. Oh no, there it is. Okay. We're good. Found it. Come on, get the golden color. So these kind of spread a little bit, so I probably would have done two smaller batches. So it's a half egg each. Just my preference. But it did fluff up nicely. Okay. So the first one is just going to be the sausage egg and then some asparagus. So hopefully this is enough. I'm just cutting these to bite-sized pieces so that they can incorporate nicely. Might as well use up the rest of the bacon on this one. Why not? Put in the asparagus. <laughs> Shove them down the PC, yep. Right? That. 
So this one will be an extra meaty, then a little bit of greens in it. Then this will be kind of my taco-y one. So we'll cut up some more peppers. Might as well use them up, right? And none of this has to be perfect, it just kind of is. Right in the mouth with a bowl of cereal. Fresh for everyone. Eh, one more. We'll do some cayenne. Dab, thank you so much for the bits. Hopefully, I'm giving you guys some good ideas. I don't know. Hopefully. Yeah, I want lots of chili on this one. This way, hopefully my family can tell the difference. <laughs> when I hand it off. Um, just a hint of cumin. I don't want a lot of that one. But this one, I think I might want some dill. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of dill. I just want to touch of that, maybe, maybe a little more of the time. I'm just on top. I don't think I want to mix that in. Whereas this, I want it mixed throughout. So the recipe on this one says like one cup of mix-ins. <laughs> so we'll see if I screwed it up. Cause then I also want to try a little sour cream on this one. Just to see. I probably should have mixed that in earlier. I wasn't thinking. That should be fine. I just kind of want to see what it does. If it changes it at all. Since we have a few more minutes on this other one. Yeah, I think they'll be okay to send meals. I know. I wish I could. That would be so good. Hello, Billy. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you all. T-Mac in here. Nextopia. So many people. I appreciate you all hanging out. I really do. I hope, like I said, this gives you some ideas of things to try. So we have a taco -y one with some spices, sausage, cheese, bacon. Or no, bacon's over here. onions, peppers, and then we have over here with asparagus, onions, bacon, a little bit of herbs, see what happens. Oh, they fell. Oh, come on camera, you can do this. So I kind of shrunk back down. But it'll be fine. Oh, 
Oh yeah, those ones kind of exploded. <laughs> Oops. Should have definitely split that one like I originally said. But that'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's all good. So who here has made frittatas? Like, I think Opal said that you had... Yeah, I do really like these. They're my Temptations cookware. Or bakeware, I should say. Temptations bakeware. I don't know why my camera's freaking out with coffee. Yeah, This camera can get a better angle, but the coloring's just a little off, so I don't know. I don't know. Food, yes. Yes. So much food. <laughs> Into making frittatas. Um, RJ, I think we can count that. I think we can. Cooking Wednesdays. Yes, Johnny, it's Cooking Wednesdays. We're making frittatas and my camera hates me. Come on camera, refocus. <sighs> Fine. Look at Dakota go. Dakota, you're awesome. we go. I know you're here. You're doing a great job. I appreciate you. All right. So we're at three seconds. I can go ahead and take care of that one. Like I said, these ones kind of exploded a bit more. Should be fine. I'll just have to clean the oven after that. All right, and then these cook for 45 minutes. They're gonna take a bit longer just because there's more liquid, a little more going on, but it still stays at 350. Oh, they smell really good though. So here you can watch it deflate. <laughs> no wrong way. There. And see, look, for we've been an hour of hanging out, and we now have two dozen eggs cooked in four different styles, feeding an army. I could have been sitting on my butt for a lot of this, but we're hanging out. We're having a good time. Easy peasy, right? Beasy, get over here. Come eat some. Got plenty. I'm going to be eating eggs for days. Even my family's going to be eating eggs for days. So as these cool, before I can actually try them, just needs a good time to clean up. Mail some eggs across town. RJ, if I could, I would. I'd say send someone along to grab them, but I know that's not gonna happen. But even for all that, pretty much this was all of our dishes. Because I cooked up the sausage, so I had to use the pan and the spoon. 
The dishes, of course, that it's cooked in. So a couple of those tins. Oh, I do have the knife and the cutting board from chopping some veggies. Nope. Oh. And a spatula. So there's really not much cleanup either, especially with the nonstick spray on this. Like, the cleanup's gonna be a breeze. And it comes out and you're like, look, I'm so fancy. Yeah, they're little egg muffins, mini frittatas. Again, for my personal preference, I would have split this and done a dozen, so it's about a half egg per, just so they don't like do this, because that's a pretty big bite of egg for me too. Um, so next time I do the recipe, I'll split it up in the muffin tins a little better. Another option, what I was actually thinking of doing, if I can get them out, geez. Mini muffins. These are my best friend. <laughs> so if you go down to this size, again, you're going to be using like one whole sheet of these for one of those. And I think it's only a 10 minute cook time. But these are literally bite sized. So if you want to make appetizer frittatas, done. And it doesn't even take long. You can serve them fresh. Use up your leftovers. Make something delicious. So easy. Charlie, I understand. Get some rest. Um, oh, before you go, I might be doing a bonus cooking stream if I can get up at noon. So 5 p.m. Grand GMT. Yeah, 5 p.m. for you. Opal, that'd be 6 p.m. for you instead of 1 a.m. Yeah. Or freeze it. And that's why I like the bite size ones a little better because they reheat easier. Um, this is a little large for me if I'm going to freeze it because then when I try and reheat it, the inside's still going to be frozen. Whereas the bite size ones, like the little medallions of mini muffins, so easy. I don't know. I'm super lazy. So next time, yeah, I'll probably use my mini muffin tins. Because I can. I also forgot to set the timer. Oops. <laughs> um, so it's still warm. They're still cooking, but I can start taking them out. Oh, first I'm going to finish picking up. See, it's not just with video games. I get distracted so easily in everything. So normally it's supposed to be that you can bake and serve in these same dishes, but kind of exploded mine, so I'm going to take them out. And hello, Hype Energy! How are you today? Yes, frittatas. We have individual size ones, and then we're making the big pie size ones right now. I'll go over each of them. We're just about to take them out so that they can keep cooling. We'll do some of the handy dandy plating.
So as long as we use the nonstick spray, it's just gonna pop right out. See? Super easy. So these are the base recipe I found online, the copycat for Starbucks. So it's Swiss and Gruyere cheese, because that's what I grabbed. You can just use Swiss. You can use whatever cheese you like. Um, topped with bacon. You can also use fresh cooked ham, sausage, beef, chicken, whatever you have laying around. And then salt, pepper. And that was it. Eggs. Oh, and the cottage cheese. The thing that I went, that's kind of weird. Which was the cottage cheese. I guess we'll leave that one there. Of course, one of them wants to be there. Okay. There we go. And then, if you want, you can add some fresh herbs. I like adding green onion on top. Just for that hint of freshness, depending on what you use, you can do oregano, you can use rosemary, fresh thyme, just a little, maybe even chives, spring onion. A little something, something. <laughs> Make sure I remember to get a picture. For Instagram. One of these days I'll figure out how I'm supposed to do TikToks. I feel like that's something to work on. Not necessarily right now. All right. So it's still warm, but it's not too hot. So I should be able to take a bite. This can be hand food or you can use fork and knife, whatever bite size for a reason. Of course I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Is it? I don't really know much about TikTok. I just know people have a lot of luck promoting on there. So I'll try it. I don't know. I'm still having a hard time understanding Instagram, which just makes me feel so old. I'm so old. All right. Let's give it a try. Ooh, I'm losing my onion. Come back. Mm. I'm making a mess. It's really good. It's nice and light and fluffy. If you want them to be even fluffier, you can use a hand mixer and beat more air into the eggs, which is a technique for Japanese omelets. Mm. But it is really good because it's nice and fluffy down for the egg part, and then you have the crunchy on top with the bacon. Whereas with the others, the bacon's mixed in. So I see why it said to just do it as a topping. Mmm. Well, that's good to know, Haley. I'll have to look for that. I don't do cyberbullying. I don't allow it. I don't tolerate it. Billy, are you at work? Otherwise, whip up some eggs. It'll take like 20 minutes. We're already almost halfway through with the pies. Apparently, my cat eats eggs. Good to know. That's why she's a trash pan. Mm. Yeah, and it doesn't even need like table salt or pepper or anything extra. Those are really good as is. So that's a good thing like in the morning for a pick-me-up. Just grab that out of the fridge. It doesn't even have to be warm. Um, it's an easy way to hide vegetables. Like I said, I normally don't eat asparagus, but they're really good in this. Um... 
These are so much bigger than I anticipated. I don't know how I'm going to try each of these. Whew. I'm stuffed. Add a little salt. Yeah, I put some salt in the batter so it's mixed in. I say batter, but I salted the eggs before cooking them. And then the bacon bits have added salt. So for me, I don't really need any. Despite being someone who eats a lot of salt. Mm. 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 I don't know why my music is struggling today, you guys. Let me check that. says it's playing. I don't know why it keeps dropping off. It's like I see the music going and then suddenly it's not there and then I see it and then it's not. Like it's gone again. Hmm. Hot berry they really are. The bite-sized ones are really nice and easy. Easy to pack in lunches too. But yeah, with the meat and the eggs, these do need to be eaten pretty quickly. Mm. So I cook a lot of pasta, and I was getting really sick of pasta. Because that's like all I've eaten for three weeks now. Because I eat what I cook on Wednesdays for like a week. So I'm very thankful that my dad gave me this idea because, man, I was missing some protein. Yeah, these just kind of exploded everywhere. They're not the prettiest, but hopefully they'll be delicious. Oh yeah, I forgot. There was cottage cheese in those. I didn't notice. So yeah, it did cook in nicely. I'll be curious to see how it comes out compared to the milk one, especially since I used oat milk. But yeah, I was expecting there to be slightly more chunky texture, and there wasn't. I completely forgot, you guys. So I'd say the cottage cheese is a win. If you have leftover cottage cheese, there you go. Throw it in some eggs. Clean these up so they look a little prettier for a picture. Oh, I can smell the onion. It smells so good. I'm a big fan of onion. Raw, cooked. As long as it's in there, I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. Well, Calamity, if you invited me down to Florida, you could be eating this right now. I'm teasing. Kind of. It's super simple. You and Jess can make it, I promise. 
This is one of those beginner recipes I wish that I had learned when I was younger. Because I don't think I even figured this out as an option until I was close to 30. When was that? Okay, more like 25, 26, I think. But still, it's something I keep forgetting because I'm not used to it. Whereas if I had learned, like, in college that it was so simple and easy, eggs are really cheap. And it's great use for leftovers. Like, it really is, you guys. So again, these don't look quite as pretty. What this is with onion, bacon, and some thyme. Dab, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hopefully, like I said, it's giving you some ideas. Um, I don't know, let me smell this. I kind of wonder what it would taste like with some fresh oregano. I do have to start my garden soon for spring. So I'll probably do a little bit of that coming up soon. That's going to be a bit much for that. Here. Oh, sure. The sound comes on for an ad. Come on. Give me a break. Diddly Hades. All right. So this one I might not have put enough salt and pepper in, but we'll see. I'm just going to take a bite. Of... Why is that so loud? Wow. What is going on? What is going on? Like, seriously, streamer problems. Good gravy. I have no sound for half of it. And then suddenly, like, a bunch of ads come on out of nowhere. And it's as loud as all heck. Sheesh. Sheesh. Alright, so I just took some of the extra little bits. That went over, mixed that up with some fresh oregano. Let's see. Oh no, that's good. That's really good. I really was afraid that they were going to be underdone because I put so much into that tin. Oh, they're good. I'm a okay with it. And yeah, whenever you can put fresh herbs on anything, it really helps. 110% would do again. <laughs> Grandest, grab a sandwich. Hello, X Chiefs. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. Ooh, what are you making? Dakota's already on it. I can't even get my hands working. Sheesh. Breakfast for dinner. Hey, that's what I did. Oh, come on. There we go. 
It's a breakfast for dinner kind of day. I really, I really think so. Ah. Yum. So now let's just kind of hang out. Like I obviously didn't plan this too great because we still got 20 minutes before that's done. Let me see how it's looking. Oh yeah, those are looking good. They're looking good. A big breakfast dinner? Yeah, I know, same here. I did a bunch of eggs. I did four different ways. So, again, we have the basic egg bites, which are Swiss cheese, Gruyere, um, cottage cheese, eggs, topped with bacon and some green onion. And then me playing around. So I mixed in the bacon with the Swiss cheese, Gruyere, eggs, cottage cheese, and then I also put some thyme, onion, garlic powder, and topped with some oregano. Ooh. Oh, a pear crisp sounds so good, hot berry. And then in the oven right now are the full size frittatas. So I did a taco one with onion, peppers, sausage, garlic, cumin, chili, and cayenne pepper. And then the other one has some dill, thyme, bacon, and sausage. So yeah. We'll have plenty of options. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's the goal, at least. So how's everyone doing? Because we got 20 minutes to just, like, hang out. See what's going on. Talk about food. Tell me what everyone's eating. Send me pictures. I don't even know what my microphone is supposedly picking up on right now. Hopefully that's better. Johnny, you don't have any food? What are you talking about? The other day you kept going on about chili cheese fries, so I talked my mom into making some chili and I ordered some fries. I was even looking at buying an air fryer. All because you talked about chili cheese fries. Look at the chaos you create. <laughs> oh, now I'm too low. Yeah, I figured it was the oven fan. I think I fixed it, so now you can't. T-Mac, thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate you. So many great streamers all hanging out. We're just making some easy food. <laughs> I know, I tried to sit down. My chair is too low, so I'll have to do it this way. My knees are cramping up today. They just are not liking this weather. I think we have some snow coming in because my knees are acting up like crazy. Come here. 
<laughs> how Mary just figured it out? Oh, no. Well, I knew the only way to get you to come back was to give you some kind of power. Okay. RJ, you and I need to talk. Because this is a family-friendly channel for your family. If you don't want it to be family-friendly, then I can certainly make that not family-friendly. <laughs> I'm just trying to be cognizant of your kids being around. So, you are setting the tone for what this channel is there, RJ. Talk about power. So you got choices to make there. I'm always a fan of punishment, just saying. Not punishment. Punishment. Ooh, Hotberry could paint me a picture. <laughs> RJ, that's the authority I've already given you. Mod status is just a picture version. But you're the only person I know that has kids that can actually listen and understand. So, it's kind of up to you. <laughs> How, um... Guess what version of me we get? Because they're all me, it's just... Yeah. Beezy, love you, sir. Are you going to do the dance for us later, Beezy? No, RJ, they really aren't. They really are not. <laughs> Kids are very easy to make if you're trying. Um, sometimes if you're not trying. And then in other cases, they're really not easy to make. Oh, BZ, I want you to dance now. Oh, BZ, we do need to play some Fall Guys, though. I haven't done that with you, and you can teach me how to be less terrible. That can be the next stream. Oh my gosh. Johnny, <laughs> you and RJ are not allowed to be together anymore. Oh no. I mean... Would that technically be mature rated? Like, they teach that in middle school. And if there's nothing graphic about it, like, I probably could. But on the other hand, I was asked to make buffalo chicken dip next week. So I was leaning towards that. Um, but we can talk about the chicken and the egg, I guess, if that's what we need to do. I feel like this one's relevant. <sighs> and what your recipe is going to be. Oh, man. Like I said, if this is not going to be a family-friendly stream, then we can certainly have some fun with it. Well, maybe... Uh... I mean, I could... But seriously, RJ, you are the only person I know that has kids old enough to understand. So. To an extent, like, I personally am not huge on, like, a lot of cuss words. So that's not something I'm super thrilled with. But... I'm also, like, not super against cuss words. Oh. Wow, my knees are real not happy with me today. I do want to do that experiment where... I don't think I'd be able to do it in 15 minutes. Where you put an egg in vinegar and watch the calcium dissolve and then it like 
solidifies just the jelly part. I think that's cool. Well, that's me. I like those weird experiments. Stelly, I appreciate you lurking. I know you're live, especially because your internet went out and you had to come back. <laughs> A nice monotone chat. Well, kids, we're here today to talk about how when mommy and daddy loved each other a long time ago. <laughs> it does take a long time. That's why I was like, I don't think I can do that in the 12 minutes I have left for this to come out of the oven. It means I should probably move the cutting board too. Yeah, they turn into a bouncy ball. I don't know, I've never done it. I think it looks cool. But I also kind of want to try the one where you dissolve a tooth in um, Coca-Cola. About 11 years ago. 11 years ago on this day, Mommy and Daddy were locked in a house together with nothing to do. And that's how you came to be. Can you just imagine like years from now? Well, kids, let me tell you about the year 2020. We're not going to talk about how that happened. <laughs> like I can only imagine what the history books are going to say about this past year. I just, I'm so glad I'm done with school. I'm not gonna wanna have to learn about like recent or history in that sense. Imagine like grandkids. Grandma, can you tell me about 2020? No, I cannot, I refuse. Like how I had to go to my grandpa and ask him about World War II. Like, hey grandpa, I know you lived through this traumatic event. Can you tell me about it for this two page paper I have to write? And that's the entirety of my experience with World War II history. <sighs> the things I think about, I don't know. <laughs> that's been my late nights. Like, what am I going to say 50, 60 years from now when people ask me about the year 2020? I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's going to be blocked from my brain. And I can't be the only one who's gonna be like, I don't remember. I just refuse to remember. Walk needs fire, yeah. <laughs> I know. Believe me, I know. If I could afford to switch over from electric to gas so I could have an open flame, I would. But then I'd have to redo my entire gas line and that's expensive. So I get electric for now. Our generation, yeah. Oh no, toilet paper. So before everything, like I went to the grocery store the beginning of March, so two weeks before shutdown, before anyone was really talking about it, because um, I was really sick through February. So beginning of March, I felt okay. I went to the grocery store. I bought myself like a 24 pack of toilet paper, one, because that's what I do is I run out, I buy another 24 pack. I just got through my 24 pack. <laughs> like it almost lasted a year. Like. Why are we panic buying toilet paper? Where do you, where do you think it's gonna go? What? Guest stream there. Ooh. RJ, I might take you up on that. I'm just gonna move in with my, ho my uh, mods for a while. I'll go spend a couple weeks with RJ. I'll spend a few weeks with Gillette. Spend a few weeks in Cali with Tipsy. Dakota, I'm sorry, you're a mod. I'm moving in with you now. That's, that's what's happening. <laughs> New game mode plus. Aaron moves in. 
She's been alone for a year and is starting to go crazy. That would be a really fun year though, to like couch surf for two weeks at different places and then let other people couch surf here for a couple weeks. For home, yeah. Yeah. I always get cheap toilet paper too. I get like the office supply kind of toilet paper. So people make fun of me. I have friends who like refuse to use the restroom here because I have cheap toilet paper. I'm like, I don't need to buy bulk of it. I already got a 24 double roll pack. It's fine. It nearly lasted a year. What do you want? Sheesh. Yeah. Gosh, I haven't really left the house much. How am I not more crazy? <laughs> Pineapple cures COVID. Okay, so that reminds me. One of my favorite stories was um, back in Victorian times, like pineapple was a scarce resource. So in order to get pineapple in, you have to have a lot of money. And people would buy a pineapple and then sell it to someone else as it got older and older. So you wouldn't eat the pineapple. It was just kind of like to be there, to be seen. Like, look at this status symbol. I can afford a week old pineapple. I can afford a two week old pineapple. I can afford a three week old pineapple. So funny to think about. Like we still do it with other stuff today, but speaking of pineapple, I just think that's funny that in Victorian times that was a symbol of status and wealth to have a pineapple at your party that no one could touch or eat, but they could see. So weird. So weird. We're in the last five minutes. Oh, they're looking so good. They're nice and golden, you guys. I know, yeah, the poor people would get the pineapple and by the time they did, it was probably all fermented. So then they were just drunk. <laughs> but yeah, it would like make rounds. The same pineapple would make rounds through society and go down each time. The older it got, like, it was really funny. I love some pineapple, even if I'm a little allergic, it's all good. That's half the fun, though, is eating things you're allergic to. I don't know. Don't do as I say. Or don't do as I do, do as I say. If you're allergic, don't eat it. Don't go to the hospital. Whereas I like eating things that I'm allergic to. Because sometimes it just makes my, ting my tongue tingly. Other times it makes my body itchy. Other times it makes my throat close up. I don't know. You gotta take the small wins. Do as I say, not as I do. Thank you, Dakota. Look who's tripping over their words. My turn today. I'm used to having things to do, not just like standing here. This is so weird, you guys. Plan better. Oh, I could have done some mug cakes. Oh, well. I didn't plan that far ahead. I know I've seen, like, you can do, like, scrambled eggs in a mug in the microwave. But that just kind of scares me. <laughs> Microwaved eggs sound horrible. But yeah, it is quality time with chat. I know a lot of female streamers who just do the just chatting thing. And I thought about switching it over, but we're talking about food, obviously. Because food's important, okay? It is funny these days, like, I'll go into a chat and people immediately are getting hungry. Or we'll start talking and it takes about five minutes? I don't know, Johnny could correct me on this, but it takes about five minutes, I'd say, before I start talking about food. 
JJ, hello. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, RJ, I've heard that the microwave eggs are really rubbery. So it makes me a little nervous. John Z, a little hello to you too. You guys are here at a good time. We've got two minutes and the frittatas are coming out. I can show off what we've done so far. We have bacon, egg, Swiss, Gruyere. We have bacon, onion, Swiss, Gruyere, and some herbs. And then we have the sausage ones in the oven. I mean, out in a minute and 20 seconds. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I don't know how I missed that carton of eggs sitting out still, but I did. It's fine. But yeah, when I mentioned like, I think it was only three or five days ago, I started talking about maybe doing frittatas. So many people have recipes for this or for quiches or I don't know, a little bit of everything. Like it's kind of cool to see that everyone has their own take on it, but that just shows how versatile and easy of a recipe it is. Steli, it's going really good. We've got a lot of people right now. We're just kind of hanging out. Got 20 seconds until the last of the food comes out. We've already got stuff pretty much cleaned up. I just have to package it. That's true. Yeah, we refrigerate our eggs. And I, I was told it's something with the pasteurization process. I know it's also really weird that we have white eggs because most cultures do not bleach their eggs. But we do. All right. So I just turned the oven off because I know that they're done. I already checked them. It smells delicious. Smells like eggs. Ah, there's the first one. So that's sausage, bacon, Swiss Gruyere with dill, thyme, and asparagus. Then we have our taco one. I say taco, but it's sausage with onion, peppers, garlic, and spices like chili, cumin, and Cajun. I'll just let those cool a bit before I deplate them. But now you can see, like, these are meant to be baked and served all in the same dish. Like, this does not need to go anywhere. That's good to go. Because it looks pretty. This one, yeah, it needs to be replated. Doesn't look as pretty. But you can see the pretty one. <laughs> yeah. These are pie size. So I think these are eight inch rounds. And we'll see if they deflate as much as the muffin tin ones did. Brulees. No, I do want to. I have the dishes for it. So I have these little ramekins. But I do have brulee dishes. They're put away right now. They're in the other container. Um, I don't have a brulee torch. And honestly, that's why I haven't made brulees. Because if I'm going to spend the money, like, it seems silly for me to spend the money on a brulee torch when there are other things that I can use more frequently. But man, fresh creme brulee is divine so good
I'm excited. This one actually looks really pretty. This one I didn't chop the veggies as much as I meant. That's okay. Brulee is really good. Um, I've had some good ones here in America. France was pretty good, but the best brulees I had were in Ireland. And it's just something about like the cows being free range and the milk that you use for the brulee, like all the parts of it, just for some reason in Ireland was divine. Absolutely divine. Yeah, you can use the broiler. It's just, it's not the same. You kind of need that brulee torch. I don't know. Like, I'll, I'll think on it. There's a bunch of other things. Like, I have um, a silicone mat for making macarons. So I do want to practice that sometime. I've got stuff to make sushi, so I'd like to try that. Gosh, I have jello molds. I have different fudge making kits. I have curries to try. <laughs> I have so many things that I need to do. Like I'm actually making a list of different things that I haven't made that I want to, because this is a good excuse for me to push myself to try it. Even if it's a complete and utter fail on screen, like then I'll just do what I did with the Cajun and try it again and learn from the mistakes and kind of show how to improve. So I'd like to. I think it would be fun to make some brulees. I'm gonna say, I think my flourless tort turned out really good, but I never got to try it. Oh yeah, that cuts nicely. That's a good one. Nicely cooked. I don't want to cut both of them too much because I don't want to let all delicious flavors out. COVID got soon to gain breakthrough today. So, Research and oil that's kind of the end of the stream. I was hoping that I'd be hungrier, but I'm not. <laughs> there's, there's not much room in my belly right now. I have breakfast right before this. So like I said, I'm going to try and be up at 11 tomorrow so that I can stream at noon Eastern. So that'll be 5 p.m. GMT, 6 p.m. in the Netherlands, and do a bonus stream. Um, I got some chicken out of the freezer because I was going to show someone how to make some baked chicken and fettuccine alfredo. But they didn't show up. So... I'll do it for you guys. So we'll have eggs today and fettuccine alfredo tomorrow. And we're going to try it with the oat milk because I haven't done that. And the only milk I have. <laughs> so it might be interesting. But I, I'm pleasantly surprised with how the milk turned out on this one. And then you can also see... So... This one has the sour cream, so it's not as light and fluffy as this one because it has more dense milk in there. But they both smell really good. I think they'll taste just fine. I just, I don't even know if I can do a sliver. I'll have to try it later. They smell so good, I'm not even hungry. Want to. It can help for work. Awesome. Yeah, like the fettuccine alfredo I make is really, really easy. I'm just going to bake the chicken in some herbs and spices. So again, kind of like this, it's a super easy meal that looks fussier than it is. Homemade alfredos are easy and people don't realize. So we'll probably do that tomorrow. And I'll let you guys know. So let's find someone to raid. Um, 
Yeah, a stream of your choice. So for that, if you want an extra cooking stream, if you want a particular game, if you want me to craft something, sew something, if you want to just chatting, if you want to Q&A, like, it's really a stream of your choice. Two hours of whatever you want. You tell me. I do have a whole costume closet upstairs, so I did add costumes, if you want. You can now make me dress up. I also have the hats. You want me to wear hats? <laughs> I don't mind looking a fool. I just want to have fun with you guys. That's why I'm here. And I got distracted. We're trying to find someone to raid. I can do that. <laughs> Thank you, Hotberry. Yeah, hopefully I can find someone good. A lot of the people I know. Pretty. Pretty on the But we'll do this guy. I don't think I've rated him yet. Ooh, yes. If you find some good desserts, let me know, because I haven't done stream plus on my, yeah. <laughs> I haven't done desserts since Christmas, and those were just boxed kits. I know, where's Jared? He's... I found someone else playing Genshin, so I think that's what we'll do. But I was checking, because he was on earlier the other day, but not today. make a Claire's? A Claire's looks so hard. I mean, I can try. All right, Johnny, I will put it down. I'll look for some recipes for a Claire's. I don't know. They look so scary. But thank you all for hanging out. Again, I appreciate it. <laughs> he needs to pay off Pokemon debt. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you're already in with Myron? Well, just make sure he doesn't leave because we're going to come over and say, hey, so again, thank you for hanging out. Like I said, I'll try and be on tomorrow, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. For, so our noon, 5 p.m. GMT for a bonus cooking stream. And then we'll be back on Friday for a double stream of something and then Phasmo at 10 p.m. Eastern. So 6 p.m. for something, 10 p.m. for Phasmophobia. Check my socials if you aren't. Lord save me, I'm probably going to attempt this TikTok stuff. Show some hype, give some love to Myron, who's playing Genshin. Time for this errand to go.